All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Cancer Zodiac sign. This is your love and relationship reading for the month of December, okay? Guys, I apologize ahead of time. I did not upload on Wednesday, and I did not upload Friday. I did take the days off and spend time with my family, uh, but I am back in action, and I'm here to get all of your readings out. Uh, so let's dive into it. This is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. And energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross. And if you need to, please flip them. Let's go ahead and get your overall energy, guys. This is your longer reading. So um, if you need to, please skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread first. Let's do it. Clarify the energy of Cancer for December 2020 as far as love and relationships, please. Thank you. Clarify the energy of Cancer Zodiac sign for December 2020, please. Love and relationships. Clarify the energy of Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify the inner. Whoa. Thank you, Spirit. Make sure you can see it. Perfect. Okay, so we have new love, past life relationships, and keep an open mind. Again, skip ahead if you need to. I'm going to lay out the entire spread. Clarify new love for Cancer for December 2020. Clarify new love for Cancer. Clarify new love for Cancer, December 2020. Clarify new love for Cancer, December 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify new love for Cancer. Clarify new love for Cancer. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify new love. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify past life relationship. Whoa. Okay. And clarify, keep an open mind for cancer. December 2020, please. Thank you. I have two more. Clarify, thank you. Clarify, keep an open mind. One more, please. Thank you. Six on the bottom. The Empress. All right. So guys, give me one moment. I'm going to pull the energies here from the spread, and then we'll begin, okay? All right. Okay, so I'm channeling the energies here. Let's start off. The Empress, all right? A lot of nurturing, motherly type of energy here for the month of December, okay? Uh, the Empress is someone who's beautiful, elegant, someone that has a lot to offer, right? Uh, you could be a, a parent to a child. You could be going through pregnancy in the month of December. Um, let's keep going. Or the Empress could also mean giving birth to something like a, a new relationship, a new opportunity as well. So not necessarily giving, you know, giving birth to a, a child. It could be giving birth to something new, a new beginning here. So we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So with that, we have the Ten of Swords, the Death, and Ten of Cups. So yeah, you've definitely went through some type of ending here, some type of heartbreak with the Ten of Swords. The Death card, a lot of times people fear the Death card, but the Death card represents an ending, but a new beginning. When you look at it, yes, it's darkness, but in the back, the sun is rising here for a new day. So although one day has ended or one trial or uh, situation in your life has ended, there's always a new beginning, a new light uh, beginning here in the background. You may not see it at first because it's slowly rising, but eventually you'll see the light. So it's like the ending of a relationship that was very um, betrayal-like type of energy, disappointment here with the Ten of Swords. And then the Death card is like saying, okay, yes, that finally ended. But now this new beginning of Ten of Cups is starting here. So this new love or this new person that's stirring your romantic feelings here is coming into your life after you've uh, went through some type of heartbreak, some type of betrayal, some type of disappointment. Could have been with a relationship with someone. Okay, could have been with something going on in life. It doesn't have to be the ending of a relationship, but it could have been like the ending of some kind, okay? Could have been a death in the family as well. And this person is bringing new life or new light into your life here. Uh, we do have past life relationship. You have known each other before. 
So with this person, we have the strength, the king of wands, and three of wands. This is a strong, I feel like this is a strong connection. But I feel like this person also sees you as strong, confident, okay, courageous. They see you as someone who's taming this, this life, you know what I'm saying? Taming everything that you have surrounding it, uh, surrounding you. Like, you are taking on life. And you're making stuff happen for yourself that a lot of people don't even aren't able to accomplish here with the strength card. Look at her. She's taming this beast, this lion, this beast. You know what I'm saying? She's taming it. She's rubbing the head. It's like you've been through a lot of stuff, but your strength has brought you through it. And then we have the king of wands here. The king of wands represent is always that entrepreneurial type of energy. Okay. The king of wands also represents someone who enjoys the company of others, right? Or enjoys a relationship, but not necessarily marriage, okay? They're, they're comfortable with the girlfriend, boyfriend type of approach. But I feel like this person that's coming in, they're looking at how much you have accomplished. Because we do have the three of wands here. And the three of wands is watching, is, is progress, okay? It's the first stage being set. And then moving on to the next stage to make things happen. But uh, the three of wands also represents watching your ships ride in, you know. So I feel like they're looking at you and they're saying to themselves like, man, this person has been through a lot. This person has been through a lot. And look at how strong and confident and beautiful this person is because of all of the stuff that they've been through. Then we also have keep an open mind. So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So we have the Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. Okay. I'm going to say this because I don't know if this person, this person that's coming back from the past, could have been someone you were married to already. Or someone that's in a marriage, like maybe, or in a committed relationship already. Maybe you've befriended someone, or maybe they're in a relationship right now, and they're trying to um, balance both of you, and maybe you found out. Because we have the Four of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. So to me, it's like, it's telling me like, maybe you found out this person was already married. That's the message they're giving me. Maybe you started talking to this person and like you guys, you know what I'm saying? You, I don't, they, now they could be married, but uh, separated as well. But I feel like it hurt you here with the nine of swords. Like you've been up thinking about this person or you're, you're going through some type of heartbreak or anguish here, sadness, disappointment. I don't know if this person that's from the past life may have gotten married and then met you, right? They're, they're meeting you, but they could be going through a divorce now. They could be going through a divorce, but they still could be legally married. Or they could actually be in a relationship right now and kind of ran into you and, like, stuff started spiking back up. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially with this King of Wands energy here. But we're going to pull their energy and see what we get. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding cancer, please. Thank you. Clarify the energy. Thank you. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding cancer. Zodiac sign, please. Six of swords. So, yeah, they could be going through a divorce here. Let's do one more. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding cancer. Thank you. Yeah, they could be going through a divorce. And the reason I say that, they're appearing as the king of pentacles, and then there's a queen of pentacles here. Right, so they may be feeling like you guys are perfect matches here. Because I see them moving forward here quickly. It's like they're moving forward quickly here. It's like, I don't know if you guys are like, y'all both are really focused on your finances and things like that. Or y'all both are financially stable, right? But I feel like this person is moving forward here towards you. Or they're wanting to do something with you. Because, look, we have the... 
Six of Swords and then the Justice card. So this is telling me they're leaving some type of relationship. With the Justice card here, this could be legal matters. So maybe they are going through a divorce. The divorce may not be finalized right now, but they're definitely going through some type of divorce. Maybe it's, you know, it could be tied up in the courts right now. The Ace of Wands is telling me they're trying to start a new beginning. They want a new beginning here. It's growth. You know, they want something stable that they can depend on. So I think maybe you found out that they were actually still legally married and that kind of hurt you a little bit. That was kind of like the betrayal moment. But I still see you like, you know, they, they bring you a lot of happiness. Maybe you guys were, I don't know, maybe you were putting a lot of energy into this person. Or maybe you, you got pregnant with this person because we do have the Ten of Cups and Ten of Cups represents happiness you know that at home life as you can see there's two people and two kids so maybe you're pregnant by this person here and you found out they were actually still married okay could have really hurt you that's betrayal you know if they kept that from you but i do kind of see you guys moving on from this okay to me it's like this person this person was like okay Look, I wanted to tell you this, still in the courts, I'm still legally married, but the divorce hasn't been finalized yet. Maybe they're fighting over a few things, you know, in the court, because a lot of times divorce can take a while. So maybe they're still fighting over a few things, and maybe they weren't completely honest with you up front because they were afraid of losing you, and now it has came out. Maybe you discovered some type of documents or some type of um, paperwork or maybe... I don't really see a lot of communication in here, but it's like somehow you found out, okay? Let's clarify any advice or clarity here for cancer. Whoa. Advice. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Hold on, guys. Let me get down here and get this. Yeah. So we have observe, nurture, and on the bottom we have open up. I feel like you have opened up to this person. You've let this person know how you felt. But I also feel like this person is finally opening up to you. And maybe this is why you found out, right? You found out because they finally had to get it off their chest. They felt like they were holding it in and they couldn't, they could no longer hold it in to you and keep the secret. We also have observed. So I feel like you were, you might have felt like something was going on, right? You felt like something was going on. You were like, wait, so something's not right. What is this? Like maybe you came again, came across a document that you found, okay? You came across maybe some text messages that you found. Or maybe this person, uh, the ex-wife or ex-husband, uh, came, I don't know, came by, is what I'm getting. Or you ran into them at the store. Or they hit you up on Facebook or something like that. And then we also have Nurture. Again, this to me feels like a pregnancy card here, the Empress here. As you can see, three and three. So you definitely could be pregnant by this person. This person found out. This person found out they, that you have a baby on the way. Okay? And that could have been a reason why they got in contact with you. Could have been that. But I do see you trying to build a happy family with this person here. This person wants the Ten of Cups with you. They want this new beginning. They want something that's going to grow into something successful. They're not just standing around and just be like hey i'm just here to be here you know they're actually wanting to put in this work with you here uh let's see let's get your last few messages before i end this reading here any last messages for cancer any last messages for cancer zodiac sign please for the month of december any last messages please for cancer thank you one more. Any last messages for cancer? Thank you, Spirit. All right. Your last messages for you, Cancer, are harmony is pure love, for love is complete agreement. When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. For some reason, I do feel like you're calm with this person. This person does bring you a sense of calmness, but... Once you found out about this energy here, it really hurt. It really hurt. I have found the one that my soul loves. Yeah. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations is here. So, um, 
yeah, I do feel like this is your soulmate that you're attracted to. They did tell, unfortunately, they weren't being fully honest with you about their past relationship, but you're going to find out, and I feel like you guys are going to work through it here, because they do feel like you're their queen to their to the king or whatever. doesn't have to be gender specific, but... Okay, guys, well... That is what I have for you for the month of December, Cancer. I wish you the best of luck, sending you positive energy. Guys, I thank you so much for your love and support, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.